Most players of Pokemon will agree that the most powerful Pokemon are, you know, they're very new Pokemon and usually they're legendary. For example, the most powerful Pokemon at the moment are probably Fluttermane, Incineroar and Calyrex Shadow Rider, one of which is a fully evolved starter Pokemon with incredible tools like Fake Out, Parting Shot and Intimidate. Fluttermane's a Paradox Pokemon with an insane stats bred and of course Calyrex Shadow is a legendary Pokemon. But there are some Pokemon doing the rounds at the moment that are from Generation 1 and one of them isn't even fully evolved. And you may dismiss it like, oh, that's probably just a gimmick team. But no, it, it really does work. Paul Chua, who placed fourth place at the 2022 World Championships, was destroyed by this team. In his own words, he got cooked. So what does this team do and what makes it so Good. The team consists of two legendary Pokemon, being Lunala and Tinglu. It also features the duo of Indeedee Armourood, which is very popular in VGC. Uh, Indeedee has this Psychic Surge ability, which automatically sets up Psychic Terrain, which seriously boosts the damage of Psychic type attacks as well as Expanding Force. But the real MVPs of the team are Gloom and Dugong, two Generation what? 1 Pokemon. The setup for this team is actually incredibly fascinating. So Dugong Dugong runs Aqua Jet, which in fact activates Armor Rouge's ability Weak Armor, lowering, def lowering its defense but raising its speed. And also the Armor Rouge is holding the weakness policy item, so it gets hit by a water type attack like Aqua Jet, Weak Armor activates, and its weakness policy activates, which boosts its special attack and attack by two stages. The opponent goes for the classic Tatsugiri Dondozo combo, and Earthquake has now done enough damage to make it reach 8%, so you know, another hit and it will die. It, they switch out to Ting Lu. Gloom is loaded with Sleep Powder, which is a very interesting move. Of course, there are better sleep users like Amoongus versus Spore, which is much more accurate, but you'll see later, Gloom has a lot more tech than just that. Ting Lu goes for a Fissure, which instantly knocks out the opposing Dondozo, which has a double Omni Boost, which really shows how important Horn Drill and Fisher can be. Gloom is also loaded with Strength Sap, which is incredibly useful to regain some HP. The enemy switches in Heatran, but Gloom is actually Terra Fairy, and it's really interesting that the, the, the player using this team is smart enough to know when to terrestrialize Gloom because of course Gloom is not a very strong Pokemon and some players probably would feel that terrestrializing it is wasting a terrestrialization but you can see here later in the game it really does they get a lot of value out of it. Dugong's also running Fake Out which is an incredibly useful move in VGC. It makes Heatran flinch allowing Gloom to get another Strength Sap off which makes it heal a ton of HP and then Dugong gets its Quick Claw boosted Horn Drill off knocking out Heatran in one hit. That's two one hit knockouts from Horn Drill and Fissure once again really showing how useful it is and then Dugong goes to the Perish Song meaning that Tatsukiri will faint in three turns. Perish count turns to one and the opponent forfeits. This is a great showcase of what this team can do, but trust me, there is there is so, so much more. We can see once again, this player opens with the classic Dugong Armor Rouge lead. And in most games, they do in fact terrestrialize Armor Rouge, boosting its damage output uh, a, a ton. Dugong, of course, has Fake Out, as mentioned earlier. And this team, the, the opponent team is running a Nine Tails Aurora Veil, which is a really cool strategy. Terrifier boosted Heat Wave isn't enough to kill, but does an insane amount of damage to Nine Tails. Of course, Aqua Jet goes into Armor Rouge, activating Weak Armor, and activating the weakness policy. It's now at two times speed, so it's gonna outspeed Urshifu there. Knocks out the Ninetales and the Urshifu. Only taking 18% of its health itself, it's now left to deal with Maridon and Ogapon Wellspring. Ogapon terrestrializes for the special defense boost. Armourage goes for an Endure, which is one of my favorite parts about this. Actually, they go into the Dugong. Okay, I was hoping to show off Endure a bit more because it's a really cool tech. As you can see there, it gets knocked down to 1%, which once again activates the weak armor, giving it a three times boost to its speed now. I think it's a really interesting tech. If you're worried about not outspeeding Pokemon, especially really fast Pokemon like Maridon, it's a great tech to go for Endure, and then you, you can pretty much guarantee you can outspeed and one-shot, which is insanely useful. Follow Me comes out from the Ndidi. They miss the knockout on Armor Rouge, which is once again huge. Like, this team is so masterfully crafted. It is insane. Like... I, I, I have no words for this. One of my favorite parts about this team, I think, is that Lunala, of course, Regulation G is the new format. It allows for one restricted Pokemon per team. On this team, it's Lunala. I've not seen Lunala do a single thing yet. The restricted legendary is completely outshined by literally every other Pokemon, including two Pokemon from Generation 1, one of which is not fully evolved. I've said it loads of times, but I will say it again. The team seems like it's, it's you know, poorly matched up against a hard trick from team, 
but just looking at this game, of course, Armor Rouge is at four times speed here, I think. So it's it, in Trick Room, it's really at disadvantage. But here, Dugon goes for the Horn Drill, getting an instant kill on Kadrex Ice Rider, which is huge. Of course, the Restricted Legendary getting knocked out one of the first few turns. Dugon is holding the Quick Claw item. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before, but getting this, I, I've not, I've not actually not watched it before. Getting the second one hit KO, that is really, really useful. The Quick Claw lets it act immediately, which, which, um, of course works inside Trick Room as well. So getting um, a Horn Drill off, boosted by a Quick Claw is incredibly useful. I mentioned um, Amoongus before and how Gloom operates quite similar to it. Gloom is also running Pollen Puff, which is once again another move that Amoongus usually runs. I think this team does lose here, but it's so incredibly close. It's just a testament to how well crafted this team is, even in Trick Room, which it's it's not suited for whatsoever. It can still almost win a game, leaving one Pokemon left on the opposing team. I mean, we talked about Calyrex Shadow earlier, how incredibly strong it is. Here's Armourouge at two times special attack, one-shotting it with Heat Wave. You can see in the corner that was two turns, and then the opponent forfeited. This team wins games in two turns. Apart from working in a very similar way to Amoongus, uh, Gloom of course has the same typing in Grass and Poison, but it also has access to the ability Stench, which not a lot of Pokemon gets. Stench gives a Pokemon a 10% chance of causing the opponent to flinch when hit by a damaging move. And Gloom also learns Bullet Seed, which is a multi-hit move. I'm sure you're getting what I'm hinting at here. With the Loaded Dice item, Bullet Seed from Gloom can hit four to five times, which is four to five 10% chances for the opponent to flinch. Now, Gloom isn't really ever gonna outspeed many Pokemon outside of Trick Room, but in Trick Room, which I mentioned earlier, Armor Rouge does not function well in. Along with a uh, fake out from Dugong, Bullet Seed from Gloom is another great way for it to get flinches. If you wanna watch another video of me talking about random ass Pokemon, um, there's a video on screen you can click. It's me talking about the start of Pokemon for Legend ZA. Because to be fair, I think I figured it out. Like I said, it's on screen right now. You can click it, you can go watch it, all that perfect stuff. Um, okay, bye.